Uh, meeting to order at 6 30 5 yes due to technical <clears throat> limits on my end Laurie not being with us present west french lee whitcomb george forcier and veronique blanchard <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she's shaking her head. No. She's not here yet. Okay. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> all is finally working, so I'll be back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. All right. We haven't got the two things here in the last meeting. Uh, no. Okay. Let me put out the LA4. You can start in on the other stuff, though. All right. So we have one one new place on the market. Nothing new. It's still the camp. Oh no, that has sold. Oh, that's sold. Yes, that is just recently sold. Around here, just a minute. Well, I I spoke too soon. It's not yet recorded. But yeah, the only thing we have left on the market right now is the Roaring Brook Camp. Okay. Yeah, everything else is in process. So we're recording or we're not recording? We are recording. I'm getting copies of the LA4, which is the total list of categories and values in that category, and of the uh, levy limit and tax rate pages. So this property sold, but we don't know what it sold for. It has to yes, and I pulled that out, but in error. Just to find out if they got more than they asked. They did. They did. <laughs> yes. This one's sizable. That's my understanding, anyway. I haven't heard any exact numbers. This is this is the. Uh, I thought it was not, I was thinking it was the, uh, the camp. No, no. It's just, just it's a home. This is a house that you sold. Right. It's another transfer. This one's just on a ship to a trust. It's on Main Street, Next to the post office. Family house there. Yeah. It's one of those basic transferring the ownership from her to a trust individual. Yes, her, her share of the ownership is going into a trust. 
half of the house is still owned by Fran Varachi. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. This other quick claim, quick, quick claim deed. Ah, that is, that's the form you can get offline from legal Zoom or whatever. And it's simply a transfer of ownership from one person to another. I don't know any reason or anything for it. Doesn't, it doesn't say anything about a dollar amount or anything. No. It just, it just says no consideration. That's right. So it's a gift for whatever reason. Also printing the forms we're gonna need in a few minutes. I don't know this place. Um, you this fairly large house. Yeah, which place? The one on Roaring Brook Road. Name, Tynum? Tynum? Yes. Yes, that was uh, Steve Worth's house. Ah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> we do so much of that. But, uh, Still, that's a lot of building. Yes. So lots of land with it. I thought it was a relatively small. Small piece, a couple of acres. Nicely done, your know, landscape, a sauna, a little building out there. Still. Laurie, if you're listening, uh, you might want to go on Gateway and go into the levy limit page and sign off that we advertised it and posted it on Monday, the hearing today. <laughs> so, uh, these are the papers we'll be looking at later. I didn't do off the minutes from the last meeting, but to look at now, actually. Um, LA4, here we go. As I say, the LA4 is a report of the different categories of property we have in town. And the total value, taxable value within each category, plus the number of parcel counts. Um, the entire real and personal property total value is now at $356,556,664. This is up 11.5% from $320 million last year. and is going to result in a reduction of the tax rate from its present 1715 to 1624. The biggest part of that increase is the 10%. Yes. The other is- New growth. New growth. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the basics of it, yep. Ages that have to be signed. Um, this is the summary page on the tax recap itself, where it shows 
how the different categories are examined. And because we have always had a single rate in the past, it presumes one for now until after the hearing, when that will be decided by the select board. But it shows you how it would work out given a residential factor of one to the tax rate. And um, you know, print it out all four pages. Actually, I'll trade that front top page for this. No, no, the other top page, <laughs> the gray one. No, the, other, the one with the darker gray on it. Yes, please. Or keep that and I'll just give you this. <laughs> that works. So those several pages are the entire tax recap, um, which, as I say, gives you the breakdown. It shows you the revenue sources from other revenue from other sources, which are used in offsetting um, expenses, expenditures. So that we're actually using uh, <clears throat> our entire amount to be raised to cover the town's expenses for the fiscal 24 is $8,336,966. And we have estimated receipts from other sources of 2.5 million, 2.547313, leaving a tax levy the amount that has to be covered by taxes of five million seven hundred eighty nine thousand six hundred fifty uh, seven hundred eighty nine thousand six hundred fifty three dollars. So that's what has to be raised by our taxable value, making a tax rate of sixteen dollars and twenty four cents. Um, the, I think some people still think that the tax rate is a number that gets created in someone's head and then you aim toward it, but that's not it at all. It's a simple division arithmetic problem of how much do you have to raise and how much value do you have with which to raise it. There's no, you, you set, you set the phrase is to set the tax rate, but it simply means to accept the rate that's been calculated. Uh, there's not much we can do about that at this point. All of the other factors have been put in by the uh, accountant and all. What was the page if, we, if they were to discuss a split factor? We have those right here. On each. That's one of them, and here's the other. I meant for the option. Leech. They changed some of these, so I'm not recognizing them immediately. Um, if you look at the second page, the tax classification tax allocation. We could fill in <clears throat> different numbers if the town wanted a residential factor other than one. The one is in there uh, to recognize our historical acceptance of one, meaning a single tax rate in this case. And this has calculations available so that you could, if we have, do not have a residential exemption, we do not have a senior means tested, a senior exemption of that kind that is mentioned here. Um, we do not have a small commercial exemption. So the only one we would do would be a, uh, to change the residential factor, but it would put a burden on the commercials, which include all of the chapter lands and farmers. We have about 75,000 left in our levy ceiling, which is the amount between what we are going to levy and what we could. That's really more to do with 
finding other income or keeping spending low. Yes. Yes. We don't want to tax all that we possibly can. You like to want to keep a buffer there. And that's a reflected in, you know, by cautious spending. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of the point you were making earlier, which is tax rate isn't just some arbitrary number we come up with. It's it derives from how much we the town has agreed to spend mm -hmm. other income sources. And, mm -hmm. and then you do the math and how much growth they're spending right. now. The biggest other in the source of other income is our <clears throat> Um, motor vehicle tax, the excise tax there. We get about $200,000 a year hmm. in excise tax, which is a big help in that category. Yep. So, okay, that's my review, I guess. I have to present some similar information at the uh, classification hearing, but <clears throat> here we go. We can go ahead. We do have that warrant. Okay. So we have a motor vehicle warrant and excise commitment number five. This is the usual update. Yep. Anyone who's bought vehicles recently? Total of $5,513.35. Mm -hmm. Move to yep. accept and sign. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. This is kind of a recap. Yes, that's the entire list that we're given of all the individuals and their vehicles that are being taxed in that one. You get about eight a year. Eight. Yeah, the big, big, big eight. one is in January. But as other transactions happen during the course of the year, they issue a new warrant. You can it doesn't matter. Thank you. I'll get that to Jan tomorrow. Yes, just just an initial say, yeah. Thank you. Could go ahead and yeah, you know, start signing some of those. Do we have any? <clears throat> are there any in here that are our personal ones? Don't believe so. If they are, we'll simply skip them or handle them accordingly. So we got chapter sixty one. Yeah, we got seven chapter chapter applications. Then. Yes. Do we know how many there are here? Well, Laurie said thirty. Thirty. Yes. A right. motion to accept the 30 chapter applications. So moved. Right, second. All in favor? All right. All right. Start <laughs> you can start signing. People are being pretty good this year about getting them in. Start. Okay. Um, Veronique, do all your folks right, have their back here. yeah have their gateway passwords with them? They're going to have to sign into Gateway to sign off on the some of the paperwork, I believe. Tonight? Yes. Oh, we never did that before at the classification hearing. Well, I'll double check it, but.
perhaps uh, probably if we have handwritten signatures, we'll be fine. I can use those. That's how we've done in the past. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I'm not even sure any of them go into Gateway. Oh. I mean, I do, but I don't know yep. if they do. Okay. And this one was a forestry uh, mm -hmm. application. So it says attached state forest certificate and approved forest management plan. And this is nothing this year. I presume that means they've had no activity. And there's another nine years to go. Yes. Yeah, sometimes they're at the end of a cycle, a ten, you know, at the end of a, a care cycle, you might call it, where they've had a lot to do. And there really won't be anything to do much for the next two years except to maintain um, work against invasives, things like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the boundaries are marked. That pickleball upstairs? Yours. Oh, that's mine. Okay. So we better you two sign it. Yeah. Or process it. <laughs> Here's another new forest group plan, uh, Russ, and so you have to uh, sign this letter saying that we've accepted it. There's quite a few renewals this year. Yeah, just sign that one. That one's the ladies. You can't sign it. The ladies? Want this in the file? Oh, uh, no. Right. Put that in. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Oh yeah, there's no one from Walter who have one. Okay. I say this one will need your signature on the letter as well. Where is it? Okay. 
Well, Goodrich was saying that even six years later, there's still so much tornado cleanup really? on his property. Yeah, oh, yeah, so it went right through and did so much damage to his woods. Yeah. No, we don't have to sign that. So some of these forms, people we have do. to yes, check the box. Um, oh, for the forest management? I mean, it filled in the, the sub, subsequent information. But okay. It's, it's like under recreation, it's all kinds of boxes. Yeah, no, we just have to do the actual recreation. Right. That's, that's, just the what is, that's just an oversight of that. Just one of them. Just sign one of those letters and I'll copy it off. Oh, I signed it. Yeah, I'm sure there's three of them. Um, in other words, this one, for example, it's pretty obvious what she's intending, but she never checked off the big box that says, Oh, yes, forestry, right? Yes, yes, whatnot. that's fine. She's in both 61A and, and 61B, and so she's filled out the appropriate forms she up just, here so we're good she just didn't check off the big right the big box <laughs> okay. we got all the signatures and all the information uh Those three hours take the form the class. Class. Oh, yes. Okay. It was six. So, as soon as the other members come, maybe we'll get through these. Mm -hmm. Hi, Phil. I haven't heard from anybody yet. Oh, well, then you don't have a quorum because Chris said he couldn't come. Oh. Chris emailed everybody earlier today and said he couldn't come. Erica drove by and said she can't come to the to this stuff. So you don't have a quorum. Oh dear. Well, let's see what we can do. We're in the process of signing chapter forms, annual renewals. We try and do 30 a night. Yeah. <laughs> He's got uh, two signatures. I got two so far. And you and me. Okay. Okay, we can add that right here. We need mine. Are these all done? No. no. Okay. I think that cool that came to hers. Okay. Well, if we had to, we could do a postponement until at least two members can be available. You got more for me. 
Probably. Okay. You got her? No, she's not answering. I guess he didn't see that Rickett said he couldn't come. Okay, well, then we'll have to do a postponement of the classification hearing. I think so. Eric, come on. Did you think of her? She could zoom in. She doesn't have to come in. She could zoom in on the assessors. Um, so not the slush board. Sign it up. <clears throat> okay, get another one with the letter Russ from. Okay. Oh, Lori just said she just lost her connection. This seems to be okay here. Well, I think she made you the um, oh, it's right. So, yes. Oh, except she was recording. We're well, recording this segment. No, I hadn't. I'm not. She's been doing the recording. Mm -hmm. I'll hit record. Yeah, I just tried it twice. Oh, that's right. Keep sending requests to our email. The record. Oh, she got back to you? Oh, oh wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> okay, well then, if we have two, let's go ahead and, and pause. Well, she's not in yet. Oh. All right. She just said she's going to zoom. So okay. And she knows it's the assessor thing, not select board, correct? Did she come in? Or where's that Lori? Don't know. Lori's working without a camera. Right, but Lori lost her connection. I know. Are you sure that's not Lori who came back in? I don't Sarah know. Erica just asked me for the one. So I don't see another. Oh, it's fine. Is it complete? Okay, those are complete. Lori. Okay, Lori's on. Good. Lori, we're just waiting for Erica to come on uh, via Zoom. And then we'll have a quorum. In the meantime, we're signing our chapter for forms like mad. She's one. Erica does? Yeah, she says. Hi, Erica. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Wonderful. Great. Thanks, Erica. I can't see her, but 
That's all, that's all right. If she can hear us and click the participants button, you might see an indication that she's. Uh, that's okay. She I can... heard her laugh. That's yeah, her laugh. Can you, Mike? Can you not see me? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Wonderful. All Thank right. you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Lee, yeah. you want to adjust your computer now so everybody in the meeting can be seen instead of just the two boys? <laughs> the participants? Yes. So, like, turn your computer so it's showing more than just the boys. It doesn't have to put it. <laughs> How's that? Uh, it's a little better. <laughs> okay. I don't have the widescreen that the owl does. Yeah. So. Okay. Call a classification hearing at uh, six ten. Right. Right, a joint meeting with the board of select board with the select, select board. board. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who asked it? Okay, good. You did that. So the purpose of this meeting is to present the figures for review by the select board. Now that we have our preliminary values, the tax values approved by the state. The Total amount of taxable value has gone from 320 million to 356 million. Uh, it's a jump of just about 11 and a half percent and uh, represents the 10 percent across the board increase that we had to make in order to achieve market values plus new growth is essentially what it meant, what it shows. What's the new growth portion of it? New growth um, is anything new construction. No, I know what's the. Oh, oh, what's that portion? Yeah, yeah. Hang on, I'll tell you in just a minute. It's on another page here. New growth, uh, hundred fifty-two thousand one hundred twenty-three dollars in revenue. So that's a percent. I'm just uh, the reason I ask this is because we are approaching. This is a school union contract. Negotiation. Uh huh. And one of the major uh, informational points in that process is what is the increase in town revenue? So 152,000 is what percentage? No, oh, not a whole lot. I'd have to yeah, get the calculator. Less than 1%. Yes. For sure. Yes. Less and than half a percent. Right. We do have about $75,000 left in our levy capacity. That's getting tight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that'll be, that'll be great because yeah, inflation was what, seven or 8% and I'm sure. Yeah, the cost of living index from the state went up, I think 6%, 6.7. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's, yeah. that's going to be the basis of the union negotiating demand. Mm-hmm. Our basis is where income. There's this promises to be fun. Oh well, yeah. That's a copy. Uh, copies of that for the select board. And here's the certification of uh, class allocation, because one of the things we have to talk about primarily is whether the town will have a single tax rate or a split tax rate, where a greater portion of the burden is switched over to commercial and industrial properties and personal property. What is the, and I know we go through this every year, yep, but that's what, is, what is the argument for a split rate? The argument- if one would be in favor of it, what's the argument for it? I've never even understood. The that. argument for it is usually heard in cities and large communities that have a big, commercial and industrial base. They have shopping malls. They have businesses established that, uh, you know, are earning and using a great deal more of, of public services, that type of thing. And so because they have a sufficient amount of that, they uh, decide to shift some of the burden over and give them a higher tax rate, which enables them to reduce the residential rate slightly but it's quite an impact on those businesses. Yes. Here in Conway, our businesses are very small, generally speaking, locally owned. They help the community. 
whenever possible. It's not, it's not even that. It's just, we can't even make the argument that they cost the town. That's exactly the, right. Because they don't. <laughs> even even with the new transfer station sticker bag <laughs> regimen, they're, yes, they're just be paying for extra bags. Yes, yeah. So they're not. There's no. There's no plausible reason right. to do that to our businesses. And anyone who is still farming or has land being used by a farmer, they would be hit by this. Anyone in Chapter 61, 61A, or 61B, it would impact them as well. 61B? I, yes, go ahead. I was going to say, I think um, previously you had done some calculation if we did have a split tax rate. And I remember that the amount of money that that, that would be coming into the town was was insignificant. It didn't seem like it was enough to make make that big of a change. That's true. And the same is true again this year, of course. Exactly the same. Right. Chapter 61B is part is open space and recreation. And so those lands are being protected as open space by being enrolled. 61A, of course, is our agriculture. And 61 is the forest management. So all of those are doing good things for the properties in town, even though they have tax benefits based on their enrollment in the chapter. Yep. Okay. So, so does that require a vote from the select board tonight? It does. It does. It requires a vote to accept a residential factor. In the past, we've always said the town has always accepted the residential factor of one, which simply means that the uh, burden will be evenly spread amongst all with a single tax rate. In this case, the tax rate would be $16.24, which is down 91 cents from last year. Which just wait till you see what we have to borrow for spending a deficit for if, if we if we don't get state aid. Right. Right. In the meantime, we'll have just a month. Yeah. It's the, the highway repairs are not going to hit us next year as a huge whack uh, because we would borrow to pay for them. And therefore, we would simply be paying the interest mm -hmm. until such time as mm -hmm. uh, we're reimbursed for it. The interest would be probably several thousand, maybe up to 10,000 a year. Jan had mentioned a figure of 5,000. So it's not going to be a terrible, terrible hit next year to us. That's being managed uh, as well as it can be. And hopefully yeah. we'll get reimbursed from the state. Before oh, yes. That happens. Yes, before we have to borrow. Yes. Yeah, that is my great hope as well. Mm-hmm. I think everyone's joining in that one. <laughs> so, so on behalf of the select board, I would make the motion that um, we adopt uh, the residential value of one. Residential factor of one. Mm -hmm. Residential factor of one. I second that. So all in favor? Aye. So mm -hmm. that's unanimous on behalf of the select board. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks, Erica. Erica, I will need a uh, an in-person signature. At some point. Um, I come, yeah, so I should come down tomorrow morning on my way into work. Yep. That's be great. What time would that be? Um, Probably around eight. I'll be here. Okay. All right. I'll see you then. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. So are, are, are we all set now? Or is the select board portion a journey or? Are you going to adjourn? Yeah. Um, so uh, motion to adjourn on behalf of the select board. Second. All in favor. Aye. It's unanimous. Okay. Thank and you. I move that the Thank you, Erica. assessors adjourn their portion of the classification hearing at 617. Okay. And thank you all very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. George, you want to second that? Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's <laughs> yeah. Okay. See ya. Yeah. All in favor. Hi. Okay, now we can get back to the last of our signing. And signatures. I will need signatures on paperwork, or we'll go into Gateway and sign. So the forestry people, mm -hmm. you know, they um, have 10 year period that their approval is good for. Yes. Do they have to submit this paperwork every year? No, no. It's not required by law. It's only required that they submit once every 10 years. 
but we do send it along and if they return it and especially if they make a little note as to whether or not any action was taken we really appreciate it okay. so these don't all represent new people's oh no 10 year cycle no not at all okay. we do not have anyone new to forest i don't think we have several new 61 b's I think there were five altogether near 61 B's. How are you? Yep, we're having a meeting. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> People knock on the window and say hi often. I like it. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't have any updates on anything else because the clip, the values and everything are all that I've been working on lately. Uh, do we have any other new business? I believe so. We'll have more chapters to sign next. Oh, yes. But have most of them come in? I mean, we've. Yes. Uh, no, time. no, we've only done, uh, what, 60 altogether? Well, I mean, Actually. Yes, October 1 is the day deadline for them. Everybody, and if anyone's listening who has a chapter return for us, October 1 is the deadline. Please hurry. Um, or Monday, October 2nd, actually. Our next meeting will be the first week of October. Before we don't, October yes, 4th. we don't need to meet next week. So. Well, we have to come in and sign the papers or we're going to sign them on Gateway tonight. Mike can do it on Gateway tonight, I think. Want to take the time, or you can come back in first thing in the morning. But I'd like to get it all submitted as early as possible. And then when can Jan start? As soon as the state approves the tax rate, which usually takes between one and two days. Um. Then we get the go ahead and uh, pull the extract from the information. She sends it off to QDS, the billing company. Be ahead or behind of last year? About the same. About the same? Yes, we actually are. Now, we have already signed the LA-4. We did that electronically the other day. Do you have your password with you, George? Or? Well, that's what I was wondering if I was smart enough to. Uh, yeah, if not. Otherwise, I can do it from home. We'll get you in the morning. Right, right. Um, yep. I think so. We're going to need actual signatures on some of the reports here. Uh, physical signatures as well as electronic. So if I am, if I may. Okay, this is the levy limit. Um, yeah. Let me sign here. Then the selectman will sign in this area below us.
Oh, would you add the date to that, Russell, please? Russell, I got you, Russell. <laughs> Where do you want to put it? Well, beside your name is good. It's the 20th. Dated or just one date at all? Oh, I think one date is sufficient. Yeah, we did the other. And we don't have to sign this one, just Mike. And he's already done that. Now that we have our signatures on record in the video, I think we could adjourn and go over to the computer and sign them electronically and just adjourn the meeting completely. You got it. Is there anything else? I don't know of any other business. Okay. Motion. Uh, move to adjourn at okay. six twenty-four p.m. Yes. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Meeting Very is good. adjourned. Thank you all.